Hi, this is the first of two videos where we're going to be looking at quadratic sequences. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. No, download the worksheet, stop the video, have a go at the questions, compare your solutions. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at the first seven questions on this particular worksheet. Please do download the worksheet, have a go at each of the questions. So the first one is the first six terms of the sequence is given by n squared plus 2n minus 4 and you've got to write them down. So basically all you need to do is just effectively substitute into the equation itself. So the first sequence is going to be, or the first number is going to equal 1 squared plus 2 times 1 and that's then minus 4 and when you calculate that you're going to get minus 1. Okay the second number is where again we substitute 2 so that's going to be 2 squared plus 2 times 2 minus 4 and when we calculate that we're going to get positive 4. Okay the third number in the sequence is going to be 3 squared plus 2 times 3 minus 4 calculate all of that we're going to get 11 so the fourth term now is going to be where we substitute 4 so 4 squared plus 2 times 4 minus 4 and when we calculate that we're going to get 20 and hopefully you get the idea the fifth term is going to be 5 squared plus 2 times 5 minus 4 calculate and you get 31 and then finally the sixth term is where we take 6 squared plus 2 times 6 minus 4 and that will give you then 44. So the first six terms in the sequence are going to be minus 1, 4, 11, 20, 31 and 44. Okay, please do stop the video, have a go at the second question which is exactly the same. All we're going to do is substitute 1 to 6 in that particular sequence. So as I'm working through this, please do have a go for yourself. So the first is going to be 1 squared plus 3 times 1, which is going to be a value of 4. The second is going to be 2 squared plus 3 times 2, which is going to give you a value of 10. The third is going to be equal to 3 squared plus 3 times 3, which is going to give you a value of 18. OK, let's have a look then at the fourth term. Well, that's going to be 4 squared plus 3 times 4. That's going to give you a value of 28. The fifth is going to be 5 squared plus 3 times 5 is going to give you a value of 40. And then the sixth term is going to be equal to 6 squared plus 3 times 6 and that's going to give you a value of 54. Okay so hopefully that gives you enough practice with these sorts of questions. They are generally two mark questions. They're fairly straightforward providing you're okay with and you've done them before. You're just putting in one, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. Sometimes you might get a question like number 3, where in this particular case, we're just asked to work out the 10th term in the sequence. So the 10th term, we use exactly the same principle. So it's going to be 3 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 minus 2. Now, just be very careful here because we need to use bid mass. So therefore, 10 squared, because we always do the order or the power first, well, 10 squared is going to be 100. So this is going to be then um, 3 multiplied by 100 Oops. plus 20 minus 2. OK, and hopefully that's OK for you. And then if we work that out, we're going to get 318. OK, let's move on then to um, question number four. Please do stop the video and have a go at each of these questions. Now, question number four is probably more true to life of the kind of questions you're going to get for three marks within a GCSE exam. Now, there are a couple of different ways of doing this. The way I tend to do it is I use a series of different formulas. So let me just uh, work that through through for you. So I've got 3 and then I've got 6. 
and then I've got 11, 18, 27, and 38. So the difference between each of these numbers is the first line difference, or the first difference. Okay, now in this particular case, it's going to be 3, and then 5, and then 7, and then 9, and then 11. The second line difference is going to be 2. Now, what I need to do then is work this through so that the second line difference is actually the same as 2a. So 2a equals 2. The first line difference, the formula you need to remember, is 3a plus b equals 3. And then the first line difference, you need to remember a plus b plus c. And providing you remember those three formulas, then you should find this work relatively straightforward. Because what we're being asked to do is to put this into a quadratic sequence. Well, you remember that with a quadratic, it's a n squared plus b n plus c is the standard form. So actually, we now know what a is. Because if 2a equals 2, then a must equal 1. So therefore, I can write that as 1n squared. And that would be my first uh, value. Let's have a look then at the second value of b. Well, I've got 3a plus b equals 3. So I know the value of a already. I can write that as just 1 plus b equals 3. So 3 plus b equals 3. So therefore, in this particular case, b actually equals 0. So that's plus 0n. OK, and then finally, I've got my third formula, which is a plus b plus c equals 3, which is the top line there. So I know my value of a is 1, b is 0, c I'm looking for equals 3. So therefore, in this particular case, c must equal 2. So it's plus 2. So I've got 1n squared plus 0n plus 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just write that as n squared. I don't need 0n, just n squared plus 2. And that would be the answer to my first question. OK, so that's the way to actually work these through. And I'm going to be adopting this and using it with all of the different questions that we've got ahead. So question number five, please do stop the video and have a go. Try to remember each time that what we're looking for is the second difference. OK, we start with the first difference, which is going to be 4, 8, 12, and then 16. The second line is going to be 4 each time, which is exactly what we're looking for. And I know the second line is equal to 2a. The first line is equal to 3a plus b equals. And then the first line is a plus b plus c equals. OK, and again, we're going to be write this in the form a n squared plus b n plus c. Well, I know my value of a, it's 2 because 2a equals 4, so therefore 2n squared is the first part of the nth term. The second part is going to be worked out by using 3a plus b equals 4. OK, so I know my value of a is 2 plus b equals 4, so therefore 6 plus b equals 4, so therefore in this particular case, b must equal minus 2. So that would be minus 2n. And then finally, I want my value of c. So I'm going to use a plus b plus c equals 5. Uh, a is 2, uh, c, uh, b is minus 2, c equals 5. So therefore, 2 minus 2 is nothing. So therefore, c actually must also equal 5, so plus 5. And that is the answer to that question, question number five. OK, so we're going to use exactly the same principles for all of them. Please do remember those three formulas, 2a, 3a plus b, and a plus b plus c. OK, let's move on then to question number six. And I'm going to stop this video at the bottom of question number seven once we've completed that. And then we'll start the second video by looking at question number eight onwards. So let's look at question number seven. OK, so again, I'm going to write 2, 9, 22, 41, 66, 97. Now, the only difference with this particular one is the numbers are just a little bit bigger, but that's OK. It doesn't really matter. We're still going to use exactly the same principles in order to complete this particular question. So it's a common difference second line of six. OK, and that value 6 is equal to 2a. 
3a plus b equals 7 and a plus b plus c equals 2. Okay, that's perfect for us. Again, I'm going to write a n squared plus b n plus c. Okay, and I know my value of a is going to be 3 because 2a equals 6, so I've got my first bit. Okay, my second bit is going to be 3a plus b equals 7. I know my value of a is going to be 3, therefore I've got 3 times 3 plus b equals 7, so that's 9 plus b equals 7, so in this particular case b equals minus 2. That's great, minus 2 n. And then finally, a plus b plus c equals uh, 2. Okay, and let's put the numbers in. 3 minus 2 plus c equals 2. So therefore, 3 minus 2 is 1 plus c equals 2. So c must equal 1 as well, plus 1. And that's the answer to that particular question. Okay, so question number seven. Let's use exactly the same principle, but we've actually got two parts to this question. Uh, we've got uh, find the expression, which we're going to use the same, and then finally calculate the tenth term. Okay, so let's have a look then at calculating uh, the expression first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write all of my uh, numbers out, and I've got 18. Um, 11, minus 2, minus 21, minus 46. Now you'll notice this particular type of sequence is decreasing. So I've started with minus 7, minus 13, minus 19, and minus 25, but it doesn't actually make any difference to us because the second line difference is in this particular case minus 6. So therefore 2a equals minus 6. 3a plus b equals minus 7, and a plus b plus c equals 18. Okay, so again, we're going to use the same form, a n squared plus b n plus c. The value of a is going to be minus 3 because 2a is minus 6, so therefore minus 3 will be my first coefficient of n squared. Okay, so then I'm going to use 3a plus b equals minus 7. 3 times minus 3 plus b equals minus 7. So that's going to be minus 9 plus b equals minus 7. I'm going to add 9 to both sides, and I get b equals 2. So that's going to be plus 2n. Finally, I've got to work out c. So a plus b plus c is going to equal to 8. So slightly bigger numbers to deal with, but doesn't really phase us, doesn't bother us at all. It's going to be minus 3 plus 2 plus C equals 18. So minus 3 plus 2 is going to be minus 1 plus C equals 18. If I add 1 to both sides, I get C equals 19. So plus 19, and that's the answer to part A. Okay, so finally then it says calculate the tenth term of the sequence. Well, I'm going to write in here that the sequence is minus 3n squared plus 2n plus 19. And as we've done before, all we're going to do is substitute the n for, in this particular case, the number 10. So minus 3 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 plus 19. Now again, remember bid mass, so 10 squared is 100, so I'm going to get minus 3 times 100 plus 20 plus 19. So that's minus 300 plus 20 plus 19 is going to give me an answer of minus 261. And that would be the answer to that particular question. Okay, I hope this has been useful to you. Uh, we're going to start the next video from question number eight onwards. Please do download the worksheet, make a start, have a go at those particular questions. They follow very much a very similar sort of rule. Hope it's been useful and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Okay, so I hope that video has been useful. Please do add a comment if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.